Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to reuse JavaScript code using import. Import allows you to choose which parts of a file or module to load. In the previous lesson, the examples exported add from mathfunctions.js file. Here's how you can import it to use uh, another file. You can import the add function from um, the path to the JS file. Here, import will find add in the mathfunctions.js. Import just that function for you to use and ignore the rest. The dot backslash tells the import to look for the mathfunctions.js file in the same folder as the current file. The relative file path, which is the dot and forward slash, and file extension.js are required when using import this way. You can import more than one item from the file by adding them in the import statement like this. And this time, we import add and subtract from the mathfunctions.js. So we want to add the appropriate import statement for, that will allow the current file to use the uppercase string and lowercase functions you exported in the previous lesson. These functions are in a file called stringfunctions.js, which is in the same directory as the current file. So when we do this, we want to um, add this to the top so that we import the functions before we need them. Um, if we were to do it down here, I'm pretty sure it would cause an error. So we want to do it up here. We go import, and what functions do we want? We want uppercase string, and we want lowercase string. And then we're going to say from, and then we're inside of the path, we want to add, these are within a file called string functions. And it's in the same folder, so we write it like that. It's important to make sure that you write string functions .js, the plural. Uh, if you get that wrong at all, in the slightest, it'll be wrong. I'm just going to expand this so that we have it all in one line. Import uppercase string, lowercase string. And we run the test, and I think that should pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.